How's it going, people? This is probably a bad idea. The sun's going down, the mosquitoes are out, and I've already been hit up for a cigarette twice, and I don't even smoke the damn things anymore. Gave them up years ago. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Um, question 101. If the mosquitoes don't drain me before I finish. Um, does the youth of today have more opportunity than that of a generation ago? Uh, opportunity to do what? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Probably not. Um, two, 102. Do you throw things away only to discover that you need them later? Um, yeah, sometimes. Um, 103. Would you give up easily on a given course if you if it were causing you a considerable amount of inconvenience? Depends on how important it is. Um, I might though, unless unless it's important, unless I care about it, then I'll stick with it. Um, all right. 104. Do you wax enthusiastic about only a few subjects? Uh, no, I'm. I have a diverse, uh, diverse interests. Uh, I'm eclectic. Um, 105. Do you rarely? Goddamn mosquitoes! Uh, fuck. It's this pink piece of paper. They think it's something yummy. Uh, uh, do you rarely suspect the actions of others? Um, do I rarely suspect the actions of others? Uh, eh, I'm, not all, I'm not all that trusting, no. Uh, I, I often suspect the actions of others. Um, unless there's somebody I know and trust. Then I, not so much so. All right. And I'm going to be all bumped up for mosquito bites, I can already tell. Alright. God damn it. Um, 106. Do you sometimes wonder if anyone really cares about you? No, I don't wonder. I know they don't. <laughs> uh, 107. Do you turn down responsibility because you doubt your fitness to cope? Uh, I would defer to somebody with more experience and then learn from them. Uh, no, I don't turn it down. I just, uh, I might get a second opinion then. All right. Make sure I'm doing it right. Okay. Uh, 108. Do you sometimes feel compelled to repeat some interesting item or tidbit? Um, sure. Sometimes. Uh, 109. Do you tend to exaggerate a justifiable grievance? Uh, maybe if I'm really, like, seriously pissed off. Um, I'd like to think I don't. But maybe I do. I don't know. I hadn't paid attention. Maybe. Maybe. Like, God damn these mosquitoes! I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> They're everywhere. God damn it. Alright. 110. Is your facial expression varied rather than set? Uh, my face isn't double jointed, so I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know. Um, 111. Do you usually need to justify or back up an opinion once stated? Um, Yeah, probably. I don't know. Maybe. Hadn't thought about it. God, I'm being drained here. They're everywhere. Son of a bitch. I'm losing blood over a video. This is ridiculous. Son of a bitch. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this. All right. Fuck. They're just all over me. All right. 112. 
Do you openly and sincerely admire beauty in other people? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Son of a bitch. Fuck! All right, that's it. I'm going to move on. But I'll try to continue this. Bad spot. Fuck! Besides, that dog's driving me crazy. Fuck, I hate these goddamn skeeters. I'm moving further away from the source of water. Maybe that'll help, but I'm already pretty bit up. Oh, here's a good spot. Maybe. This park's so fucking crowded. Well, these people with kids, they can't afford to do anything, so they come to the park. Okay, here's a nice spot. <sighs> okay, I'm a... I'm a bit more in the sun. The sun's in my face now, but maybe the mosquitoes will leave me alone. I'm already itching like crazy. I'm really pissing that dog off. <laughs> All right. 113. Would it take a, a definite effort on your part to consider the subject of suicide? Uh, that's unpleasant. Uh, I have considered it. I even tried it once, and a uh, long time ago. Um, but I'm so much better these days. But the thought crosses my mind every once in a while. And it's not rational, and I usually knock it aside and go on with life. All right. So, no, not a definite effort. <laughs> all right. But I'm cool. I'm all right. Don't worry. It's just, you know, depression. You know, makes you crazy. Alright. 114! Would you? These fucking mosquitoes followed me. Alright. Fuck. Leave me alone. <laughs> Alright. Would you consider yourself energetic in your attitude towards life? Um, sometimes. Once in a while. Alright. 115. Would a disagreement affect your general relationship with another person? Not necessarily. Depends on other factors, I think. Uh, people can disagree with me. I'm pretty cool about that. All right. 116. Does a minor failure on your part rarely trouble you? I get bothered when I fail. I like to succeed. Don't you? Um, does it rarely trouble me? Depends on how minor that failure is. All right, 117. Do you sometimes feel that you talk too much? Yeah, that's why I got on YouTube. <laughs> now I can do it to the camera. All right, 118. Do you smile much? I don't know. Do I? Um, maybe. If I do, I'm not noticing. I, I smile when I feel like it, and uh, sometimes even when I don't. But do I, do I smile much? Um, um, yeah, sometimes. 119, are you easily pleased? I like to think so. I just try to, you know, delay it a little bit so it doesn't, you know, so I'm not pleased too quick. But, um, no, I'm, I'm easy to please. Um, 120. When met with direct opposition, would you still seek to have your own way rather than to give in? Um, I don't know. Uh, that opposition, is it, what kind of opposition is this opposition? Is it somebody that has a, a different plan, a different idea? Maybe I would hear that plan and like it. Uh, I don't know. Um, that's a weird question. All right. No, not, I don't always give in. I can be pretty mulish. And then sometimes I can be pretty reasonable. Damn. The sun's like right on the rim. It's, all, getting, it's almost dark. It'll be dark in less than an hour. These damn mosquitoes are... Well, I've fed quite a few already. The things I do for YouTube.
you'd think they'd appreciate it. <laughs> All right. 121. Provided the distance was not too great, would you still prefer to ride rather than walk? I, I'm a walking fool. I love to walk. Uh, I love to ride, too. Um, nah, I, 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 I do a lot of walking rather than riding. It's good for you. I go for walks to change my mood sometimes. When I'm feeling down, I go for a walk. It works. I go for hikes. All right. 122. Do you ever get disturbed by the noise of the wind or a house settling down? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Hadn't really noticed. All right. Uh, probably. Okay. 123. Is your opinion influenced by looking at things from the standpoint of your experiences, occupation, or training? Yeah, a, a lot of them are. Some aren't. Um, okay. 124. Do you often make tactless blunders? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, nothing I can recall offhand. Um, 125. Are you suspicious of people who ask to borrow money from you? Yeah, but I borrow money. I mean, I don't loan money. I've given money to people, but I don't loan it out. And I don't borrow money from people either. You know, I just make sure I have my own money. All right. Okay. Fucking mosquitoes! Sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now I lost my place, god damn it. 126. Are your decisions swayed by personal interests? Is it everybody's? Um, maybe not. Damn, bit me on the ear. Son of a bitch. All right. 127. Can you get quite enthusiastic over some simple little thing? Sure. <laughs> Fuck. All right. 128. Do you frequently take action even though you know your own good judgment would indicate otherwise? I've done that. It's a bad thing to do. I, I try to use my judgment. But yeah, yeah sometimes. Um, I've, sometimes it's like, I do something, I'm like, God damn it, I knew better than that. Ah, shouldn't have done that, I knew better. All right. Damn, itching all over. Fucking mosquitoes. Fuck! This is not working out. All right, and I'm only halfway. Son of a bitch. All right. 129, are you in favor of color bar and class distinction? No. People are people. I just don't give a fuck. All right. 130. Are you aware of any habitual physical mannerisms such as pulling your hair, nose, ears, or such like? Yeah, I do things like that. I have mild Tourette syndrome. It. Uh, my nephew's got it worse. Uh, I found out what it is later on in life, unfortunately, but yeah, I have minor Tourette's and sometimes I, at least I don't have outbursts of profanity unless I feel like it. <laughs> it's not, you know, I could resist them though, but yeah, I have nervous little tics and stuff, you know, like waving off these fucking mosquitoes. All right. 131. Can you quickly adapt and make use of New conditions and situations, even though they may be difficult. Sure. Sure, that's how you survive. It's called adaptation. All right. 132. Do some noises set your teeth on edge? Yeah. You know, like metal on metal, uh, fingernails down a chalkboard. Uh. <laughs> All right. 
right. 133. Can you see the other fellow's, other fellow's point of view when you wish to? When I wish to? Well, sure. Sometimes I can do it even when I don't wish to. You know? If it's right, it's right. And that dude's walking around without a shirt on. He's going to be eaten alive. I'm being eaten alive right now. <laughs> Unless I'm just extra tasty. 134. Do you go to bed when you want to rather than by the clock? Yeah. And sometimes I get up and I go back to bed and I get up and I go back to bed. Yeah. It's not incontinence. It's just I, I'm a restless person this time of year. All right. 135. Do petty foibles of others make you impatient? Eh, maybe sometimes. Sometimes I'm just amused by people instead. All right, 136. Do children irritate you? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes they're just like cute, you know. And, but sometimes they're childish, you know. <laughs> it can be irritating, but I try to be understanding. I think childish people are far more irritating, though. But, all right, kids are supposed to be kids. All right. 137. Are you less talkative than your associates? Uh, pretty talkative. Uh, probably more so. <laughs> uh, 138. Do you usually carry out assignments promptly and systematically? Yeah. It's the job I've got. If I don't, they're going to get someone who does. So I make sure I'm doing it. All right. 139. Uh, I feel like King Kong in the Sky World Trade Center. I mean, uh, sorry, I mean... Empire State Building. All right. Oh, this damn Skeeter's buzzing me. Fuck! Oh, son of a bitch. This is getting really irritating. 139. Would you assist a fellow traveler rather than leave it to the officials? Uh, unless they could do a better job. Um... 140. When voting, do you usually vote the same party ticket straight rather than carefully considering the issues? I tend to consider the issues. I I got family members that just vote on the on the Republican side straight down, but me I lean left, but I can vote right once in a while. And yeah, I consider issues. Better hurry up. It's starting to get dark here. All right. One forty-one. Do you frequently dwell on your past illnesses or painful experiences? Uh, no. Why would I do that? That would bring me down. Think about past victories, past things that make me happy, because that's what I want to be. All right. All right. One forty-two. Do you? get very ill at ease in disordered surroundings? Yeah, probably. No more than most, I suspect. But, yeah, sometimes. 143. Do you usually criticize a film or show that you see or a book that you read? Uh, you mean like the Book of Mormon? <laughs> uh, Sometimes? Uh, wait, wait. Do you usually? No, not usually. I, I'm not that critical. I, I like to enjoy a movie so I don't tear it apart, you know. If it really sucked, I will do that, but I don't do it often. 144. When recounting some amusing incident, can you easily imitate the mannerisms or the dialect or the original incident? Uh, I don't know. Uh, probably not. I'm not much of an actor. All right, 145. In subjects about which you are not expert, are your own ideas of sufficient importance to tell others? 
I it's a case by case situation. I mean, if I think it's important, I'll share it. Uh All right, whatever. Um don't like that question. Um I tell people my opinion and they'll tell me if it's important. I guess there you go. All right. 146. Do you have a tendency to tidy up a disorder of somebody else's household? No, but I wish I knew someone like that. I'd have them at my house. <laughs> I'm a slob. All right. 47. Can you accept defeat easily without the necessity of swallowing your disappointment? Um, I'll say, uh, definitely maybe. Uh, I think so. Um, yeah. 48. Do you often feel depressed? Uh, often. Yeah, I guess it often fits it, yeah. I, I get depressed. Yeah, depression's a problem I have. I was even, uh, I've been through therapy and I've been medicated for it in the past. Uh, I still get medicated for it, but it's not nortriptyline anymore. It's uh, KGB. All right, forty-nine. Are you ever ill at ease in the company of children? Eh, sometimes. It's you know I got to watch what I say. I you know, I try to be real careful around kids. You know. You know, they're the future. You don't want to fuck up the future. All right. Uh, 150. And this is the last one in this video. Do you get frustrated at not being able to do something rather than finding a substitute activity or system? Uh, no. How's that? All right, now it's getting dark, and I think I've lost enough blood. So, to be continued in the last installment. I hope this was fascinating. I hope it was interesting. Uh, I hope it was worth the loss of blood. <laughs> anyway, I'll try to finish this this weekend. So, peace. The fuck. Out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having.